Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're going to have a look one round. Well, we're going to have a look round one of the bedrooms in my house. Uh, there's only a couple of bedrooms. Don't get too excited. It's not a really big place. But this is the first place that we've had at the second bedroom, and so it's the first place that I can make an Alice in Wonderland bedroom, which is pretty cool. A few people have asked me for pictures of this room, uh, and I haven't done it because it's more accenty. Like there's sort of Alice bits here and there. It's not like she kind of threw up all over the place. So I. Feel I figured that a video might be better, it might do it a little bit more justice, and so we can see all the little bits and pieces. So cool, let's go around and have a look. Um, also, I did actually film this video before, and I'm reshooting it now, mostly because I added a few things since then, since I filmed the video, yeah, I added a few things. And not only that, but it seemed like I said, the, which seemed, right, okay, so this seems very obvious, but I said the word Alice a lot in the last video, that it was just Alice, Alice, Al like the whole video was just, it was just a string of the word Alice. So I'm going to try and not do that this time. Also we're, check we're trialing out this really, really weird, let me see if I can get, look at this super weird like a, uh, oh that's not a good idea, um, hand -heldy selfie thing. It's pretty cool. I should show that on video as well, but not in this video, not in, oh, hello, not in this video, but another video. So cool. Oh, the other mistake I made in the video last time is I said that we were going to go and I said that we were going to go clockwise around the room and then we went anti-clockwise around the room. So I'm not going to make that mistake against the thing. So cool. Okay. Let's start from the, let's start from the door. So uh, yeah, so this is how, what the room looks like from the entrance way, and we're going to go, we're going to go anti anti clockwise. We're going anti clockwise, right? So first of all, on the door handle, I have uh, a pendant here on a, on a necklace chain uh, of the John Tenier drawing of Alice, a cut laser cut. I got this from some expo, and I, I never wear it because I don't really wear um, necklaces. They make me feel really pretty itchy. And behind the door, I have a lot of stuff. I have a Alice, see I'm saying it all the time, it's really hard not to say it. Um, I have an Alice, <laughs> I have a tote bag. I bought this tote bag from Japan. I think it was in Tokyo Disney World, but I don't actually remember. Um, and next to that, I have a couple of shelves full of really cool stuff. So, in Japan, uh, lots of people really, look, really, really like these small flannels. Um, it, it's because in the public restrooms, they tend not to have hand dryers. So lots of the women have these flannels. So this is an Alice one, and I did get this, Alice, Alice, Alice. I did get this from Disneyland, I remember. This little bag, which has a pink girl on the front, blue girl on the back, I didn't say it at that time, actually comes from B-Side Label, which is a sticker store. There's one in Harajuku in, in Tokyo. If you go there, you can find it. And on my top shelf, I have uh, my stand-up Cheshire Cat. He is actually standing on his head. That's how he's designed. I got him from the Tokyo Disney store in Shibuya. And next to that is a pencil case. I picked this up at Kiddie Land in Harajuku and behind the pencil case or makeup bag, whatever you want to use it for, is some old editions, some puffin editions of uh, the Through the Looking Glass and Wonderland books. Now just in front of that you can see a book called Shuki's Adventures in Wonderland and that book is a book that my boyfriend bought for me where the word Alice is completely replaced with the word Shuki which is my nickname so it's my Adventures in Wonderland. So on the bottom shelf, oh let's get a good view of it, I have another, a few knickknacks. There was some few, a few additions here since last time I shot this. First of all again, uh, one of my favourite things, a tote bag. I picked this up in a magazine that I bought in, again in Japan. It was a Japanese Alice merchandise magazine, and you can buy them in some bookstores in one of the big stations like Tokyo Station. Then I've got this age old plate. I think I got this as a birthday present when I was 10, 12. Like it, it's a good, it's a good 20 years old that plate. It must be worth some money, but I, I wouldn't look it up because you know the sense. I, I would never ever get rid of that plate. I've had it for ages and ages. This I haven't had that for that long. This Alice Wonderland teacup uh, are new in some of the Disney parks I think from last year or maybe the year before. There's also a teapot which goes with it but I didn't pick it up because I knew I wouldn't get it back to the UK when I moved back. And I have a couple of postcards here too. I bought a set of, of postcards of 50 postcards from the Alice exhibit that was at the British Library uh, I think at the beginning of this year. Uh, so I have a few of those dotted around. 
Now last, I was pretty sure it's last year, again it could have been the year before, uh, the, um, the postal service here in the UK released a set of Alice in Wonderland stamps and because I wasn't living here at the time my brother picked them up and bought them for me and took them all the way to Japan and I bought them all the way back here. This candle has nothing to do with Alice, it's just here. Um, but this usually lives upstairs, I brought it down for the sake of the video. This is a battery, a phone charger. So I, I take the portable phone charger, so I take it around when, uh, when traveling. I think it's got a charge and a half in there for an iPhone 6, which is pretty cool. This book is my original book, is my original illustrated book from when I was a kid. And this one down here, I think comes from Liam's house. Now below here, this is my clothes, well not clothes, bags and shoes dumping ground. Um, but just above that you can see another tote bag. This tote bag I picked up from Alice in Wednesdays, which is a really cool store in Harajuku in Tokyo. It's really odd to get in there, you have to turn up at 10 o'clock in the morning and they give you a ticket to return later. And it has a whole load of Alice stuff or Alice theme stuff, like uh, hair accessories, bands, makeup boxes, this kind of thing. So I picked that up from there. Now this pencil drawing I picked up from I think Kitty Land in Harajuku again. It's actually a postcard. So this is this is Liam's old book from when he was a kid. So his edition of of the Alice book. I don't think it's illustrate. Oh yeah, so there are some illustrations in it, not the same way that mine has. My this one up here has is color illustration. I'm not going to get it down. Um, but this, yeah, so that's his old, old book. And uh, next to that is just a plastic wallet. I didn't know where to put it. Maybe I should stand it up. Maybe that would be better. But then you'd see the um, ugly, ugly book, ugly plastic bookcase. Uh, but it doesn't really translate on camera. But if you move it, the Cheshire Cat and Alice move. And this I picked up again at Kitty Land in Harajuku. Now, on the wall, I've got a whole load of postcards, pictures, some larger pencil drawings. I went to Design Festa in, in Tokyo, which is a huge design photography art event in May every year in Japan. And I picked up six Alex postcards from a... I can't, still can't stop saying Alex. It's really hard. Um, I picked up six postcards from a an artist there and we tried to display them in order but then we put the frames out of order never mind it doesn't matter so you can see alice meeting the or following the white rabbit and meeting the caterpillar when it turns into a butterfly and then the cheshire cat and over here going to the tea party then with the cards and then finally with the king and next to that i have a huge I was going to say painting, it's not a painting, it's a piece of, well, it's a huge, it's a huge frame of, of pictures. <laughs> so next to that I have a huge frame of pictures. These, these pictures I, I did get from Kitty, let's zoom in so you can have a look. These pictures I did get from a, a notepad, it was a notepad that I bought in Kiddyland in Harajuku. So they have loads and loads of stationery there from loads of Disney films. And this one, on the other side of each of these pictures is sort of lines so that you can write on them. But I peeled off all of the, well, all of the pages and made this frame art thing instead. Now I need to stick it down, it doesn't look that good. It could do with looking a little bit better, but for now it's okay. Um, but I quite cool, I like the Cheshire Cat being on the top. On the corner I have two pencil drawings, no they're not pencil drawings, they're prints of course of the John Tenier art from the original book. These pictures I got from a set of 15 or 20 pictures which were the pencil drawings, the coloured pencil drawings and then some text drawings as well all in a huge kind of calendar, um, uh, calendar thing. I should dig it out so I can show you. It's like, it's like a massive notepad with loads and loads of art on it. And again, I bought this at Alice in Wednesdays in Harajuku and I've, I've picked a few of the select ones that I like to, to put around. I didn't like the coloured in ones too much, so I, I stuck with the pencil ones. I think they look a little bit better. Oh, okay, so for the bed, I'm gonna go back a little bit so we can look at all the bed. Okay, cool, so that's the whole bed. Um, I don't have an Alice bedspread. I thought it was, it would be a little bit, I thought it'd be over the top, let alone all of this Alice stuff everywhere else. But I, so I went for flowers because obviously she visits the, she does the whole golden afternoon thing. I have a couple of umbrellas in this room. We'll go to see that one 
in a little bit. Um, but this umbrella down here is the second edition of Alice book, or I can't remember. There's the first edition of the Alice in Wonderland book with the illustrations which John Tenier did and then there was a second edition, like a, a kid's edition I think, when Alice was coloured in and she had this yellow dress. So I have a little cushion of that and I have a an umbrella too which is plain on the outside, there's nothing on the outside and then all in the inside it's got the, all the photos which is cool. But I never take it outside because uh, London weather is kind of a bit bit dirty so I think the rain will just make it horrible so it just lives here and then I got another cushion here which makes me feel a little bit better in the mornings when I'm getting ready before going to work the window is a little bit dull I got a cute umbrella there but it's got nothing to do with the films or book um, but I do have a nice tiny piece of art here with a page from the book and this makes me feel good when I am late or getting late almost every day so over here I have a small table. Now this small table and small chair, that is a kid's chair by the way, that is there by design. I thought I was being relatively clever at one point. I'm going to give you some perspective. This is a adult sized chair. Uh, I bought this kid's chair and table because I thought it would be cool to feel like you'd just eaten something and become giant. So I don't know, it kind of works, it's quite cool. I got this from Ikea, the chair and the table is from Ikea in the kids section and this lamp is also from Ikea. I picked up these sort of bunting label-y things in, uh, in Kiddyland again and I hung them on the little buttons on the, on the lamp so it would look quite awesome. This artwork I think was promo, or was promo art, not promo artwork, but was draft artwork, I don't know what you call it, sort of trial artwork for before the film, for the Disney film. And it's also the Al same Alice and same Cheshire Cat which is on my t-shirt which I picked up in Uniqlo in Japan but I think you can get them here too the perfume bottles I tried to make them look like they were kind of drink me things but I don't know if that really works uh, but these two things are actually new additions to the room since when I last filmed this so obviously we have the gold flamingos just when they go and play croquet and I really like this but the glare is going to make it oh that's actually good let's do that so these two pictures here this shows Alice uh, coming out of the glass coming out of the looking glass that's what it's called so coming out of the looking glass and if we go the other way I hope I can get a good shot of this let's go if you look from the other side ah, uh, you can see Alice going into the looking glass from the other side so I thought that was pretty cool underneath the table I have a few random things this is a sort of a bird cagey style I think you're supposed to put a candle in it, so candle casing thing. I thought it suited the room, that's the only reason why I bought it. And you might not be able to see this on camera, and what is that? Oh, it's a piece of wood, that's fine, not a bug. Um, this is a giant teapot, there we go. Uh, so it's a teapot planter, you're supposed to put plants in it, but I got friends or cuddly toys that live there instead. And next to the table I have another one of the pictures from the same collection where the black and white pictures came from. Uh, this is just... A, a page from the book, I think from the tea party scene actually. I have another new edition up here, three of the postcards that came from the Macmillan 50 postcard set, so um, I put them up here. I love the Tweedledee and Tweedledum one, I don't think I have many other Tweedledee and Tweedledum stuff, so that, I was kind of happy to get those guys in. Now the butterflies have nothing to do with Alice in Wonderland as much as I know, but I thought they were quite on theme with the room, so they just go up the wardrobes. But above here I have, oh, I love this umbrella, I'm so happy I bought it. This is actually a sun umbrella, I got it in Japan in a store called Marui, it's spelled M-A-R-U-I. But if you ever go to Tokyo, you'll see they are the massive stores which have the 0101 on the top, that's their, um, that's how you can find them, they're big department stores. Head up to the higher levels and they tend to have stores which have loads of Disney stuff. I'm going to let you peer inside because it's, like I said, it's a sun umbrella, it's not a... It's not a rain umbrella, it's got metal, there's kind of metal inside, the silvery fabric inside um, to keep, to help keep the sun off you. And all the way around they just have Alice characters, there's the flowers, this is weird, I have no idea how this is going to turn out on camera so I have to like turn the camera weirdly. Uh, and Alice is down here with the Cheshire Cat and with the flowers on the other side. Um, they also had a fold up one as well, um, but I thought this, the shape of this one was really cute. 
So this is another thing that we bought recently. It's a huge piece of art and it actually has on it the whole book. So the writing is super, super tiny. I don't know if you can, oh, there you go. It's the whole book all the way to the end. I still find it really hard to believe. So it's it's a cool piece of art. I just, I'm not too sure I have a piece of wall that's free for it yet, but I guess we'll see. So we're just gonna take a step back and look at the whole dressing table area. Now, I don't leave these lights on all the time, just I have them on right now so you can see what it looks like when they're on. And this is the last pencil drawing piece of art, the Caucus Race, and you can see Alice in the bottom left there. This is my favorite pencil drawing. It was the first one I decided that I was gonna put in here. Um, and it is my favorite pencil drawing, although this is my favorite piece of art. I'm going to turn off the light. It's actually 3D, although it's a drawing, so it's sort of the, the characters are in the foreground and then the background behind is, is, is sort of placed away. It's a shame that the glare is really bad, but that's my favorite piece. My brother bought me this for my birthday this year, which was very nice of him. I have a cute little tissue box with some butterflies on it. It's not related to the book or movie, it's just a cute tissue box. But here, this this thing which, uh, which houses all of my dirty makeup brushes is a mug, um, which makes me feel better in the morning as well, or a little bit more normal uh, than, you know, you feel sometimes at that early in the morning. Have I missed anything? Oh, I have missed something. This little thing. Just, this is a metal postcard. I got it again at Kiddie Land, and it, it seemed to fit very nicely above the light switch. I did put some stickers on the light switch. It's kind of boring and a little dirty, but um, this just seemed to, seemed to suit best just by itself, which is pretty cool. Now, again, last time I shot this, I did the... I did the outro at this time, and then I realized that I missed something, which is probably one of the most expensive things in the room, and it's the lampshade. So I'll have a look here. Let's see if I can get a good view of it. Ugh. Do we need to turn it off? No, that's good. Cool. So I bought this lampshade on Etsy, and it has scenes from the original book. I think the tea party. Oh, hello. I can't do it. This is very hard to turn. I. It's got the tea party scene, I think, all the way over, and then the Cheshire Cat at the top. So I think the scenes are actually all meshed in together. Um, this lamp, I think, cost me around 60 quid, but I can't, I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, it's good that I actually remembered it this time. I have a few things from Etsy. The, the cushion, one of the cushions down there is from Etsy as well, which I don't think I mentioned before. So cool, that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Alice room. I'm gonna add a few more bits to it. I'm going to Disney World this year, so I will get a few more bits. I forgot something, okay, cool. Sorry, just quickly. Um, down here, down here behind the hairspray, the hairspray emporium, um, this little, this little music box actually plays the uh, music from Spirited Away. But down here, I completely forgot, I have a light-up necklace that you can buy from Tokyo Disneyland. They, they love selling these light-up necklaces in Tokyo Disneyland, loads of people walking around them uh, in the night time before the electric light parade. And this was the only Alice one. This is a lie. This is not the only Alice one. I also have a Cheshire Cat one, but I don't know where it went. Oh, so we're going to have to add stuff to the room earlier than I thought. So I forgot to finish off the video properly yesterday when I was taking a tour around the room and it's so sad, the Alice room looks so pretty yesterday and oh, it's so horrible now. Look, everything is everywhere, all the clothes are here, oh, things only stay nice for a very, very short amount of time. But I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming on a tour with me around the Alice room and I'll post some more Disney vlogs soon. We're going to add some more stuff to this room uh, after we come back from Disney World. I'm going to shop for a whole load of cool Alice stuff to go in this room in Disney World. So we'll do another tour probably after that. That. So thanks again everyone, I'm at this Natasha and I hope to see you back on the channel soon. Okay, bye!